Hey everyone, I'm back today with another tutorial and this time I'm going to show you how to make your own bass drops. So to get started all we need is a new track and on this track you're going to want some some kind of a, like a tone generator plugin. Um, you can probably download lots of uh, VSTs of these. I'm going to use one that comes with Reaper called uh, Tone Generator. And yeah, you'll get this awful sound. Let me mute that real quick. Um, basically, um, you're gonna want you're gonna want a uh, sine wave, and you're gonna set the frequency to around probably around 70 hertz should be pretty good. Okay, let's see how that sounds now. There we go. Lots of sub going on there. Um, now uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your automation tab and um, I'm going to create automations for the mute and the frequency on this. It's going to be different depending on which plugin you use but it's, the same should apply. Um, you can also do this in the 3x oscillator in FL Studio. There's several ways to do this. Um, the same concept should apply. So what I'm going to do is on I'm going to automate this mute so that way it comes on basically basically where I want it to. We're just going to we're just going to create the bass drop and then export it so that way we can just use it in any production without having to do this every time. So here's what it's going to sound like now. Okay. Now, I'm going to go to the to the frequency automation. We're going to put in a point at the beginning of this and then we're going to drop it down to 0. And this is what you sound like now. Okay. Um, you're probably going to want to make it longer than that, so I'm going to drag this over here. There we go. Um, that's the basis for the bass drop. Now, the only other thing I really do for the bass drops is I'm going to go and put an effect on here. I'm going to put a um, tube overdrive. Ruby Tube is a free plugin that works really well for this. And I'm just going to just going to put a pretty small amount of drive and it'll make a huge difference. So it's actually a little bit too much probably. And um, that's really all there is to bass drops. You can um, you can set the frequency just a little bit higher. The the higher the frequency, the more it's going to stand stand out on um, smaller speakers like phones or computer speakers. Um, yeah, there's really not too much to them. You can, like I said, you can uh, you can adjust this to make the uh, bass drop shorter, or longer. What I would do is um, make just, just make several of these at different links and maybe even uh, different frequencies and just name them accordingly. So that way you can kind of kind of just know which one which one you need whenever you want to put one in a song. But yeah, that's about it. I hope this helped you out. And like, subscribe, comment. Thanks for watching.